Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In one of our previous videos, we've discussed the various type of clutches, but all those clutches that we have discussed so far are operated by means of manual effort. In order to minimize or to avoid the effort required for clutching, some modifications were made to the clutch which gave rise to further types. In this video, we'll be discussing those types. Today, we'll discuss hydraulic, vacuum and electromagnetic clutches. Let's start with hydraulic clutches. Hydraulic clutches employ hydraulic pressure for disengaging the clutch. It is usually preferred where the distance between the clutch and clutch pedal is more. It's also used in heavy vehicles where huge effort is required to operate the clutch. The hydraulic clutch consists of a reservoir, master cylinder and a slave cylinder. The reservoir is filled with hydraulic fluid and the master cylinder is connected to it. The master cylinder is connected to the slave cylinder. The piston of the master cylinder is connected to the clutch pedal and the piston of the slave cylinder is then connected to the clutch release fork. When the driver depresses the clutch, the piston pressurizes the hydraulic fluid in the master cylinder. The fluid is transferred to the slave cylinder and the hydraulic pressure moves the piston for operating the clutch. The hydraulic clutch multiplies the effort, thus reducing the driver's effort. As it has no mechanical linkages, the chances of wear is also less. But the problem with this clutch is the possibility of leakages. Now, let's move on to the next type, vacuum clutch. A vacuum clutch is a type of clutch that uses vacuum from the engine manifold for operating the clutch. A vacuum clutch consists of a vacuum cylinder, a solenoid valve, a battery, a switch, a non-return valve and a reservoir. The reservoir is connected to the engine manifold through the non-return valve and is connected to the vacuum cylinder through the solenoid valve. The solenoid valve is in turn connected to a battery and a switch. The switch is operated by the lever gear and there is also a vent in the vacuum cylinder. The piston connected to the solenoid is in lower position and the switch is open under normal conditions. During suction, a vacuum is created inside the engine. As the reservoir is connected to the inlet manifold, the pressure in the reservoir pushes the non-return valve and makes it close. Thus, the connection between the reservoir and engine manifold will be cut off and a vacuum remains in the reservoir. Now, when the driver holds the lever to change the gear, the switch closes the circuit and then the battery energizes the solenoid valve and the valve lifts up. This establishes the connection between the reservoir and the vacuum cylinder. Due to the pressure difference on either side of the piston, it moves, resulting in the disengagement of the clutch. The clutch engages automatically when the driver leaves the gear lever. Then, we have an electromagnetic clutch. As the name says, these clutches use electromagnetic force for engaging and disengaging. Here, the flywheel is provided with windings which get energized on the supply of current. The energized winding acts as an electromagnet and attracts the pressure plate towards it. Thus, the clutch is in engaged position. When the driver holds the gear lever for changing the gear, the lever switches off the electric supply resulting in the de-energization of the coil. Thus, there will not be any attraction within the pressure plate, that is, the clutch disengages. This system does not employ any mechanical linkages and the engagement of clutch increases with increase in speed. But heating of the coil due to energization is a problem in this type. Alright, so that's it for this video guys. With this, we have seen the various types of clutches. Wait for more interesting videos like this. Until the next one, bye.